Good morning. Uh, so it's summertime. Uh, I've got a lot of PV. Uh, too much actually to charge my car. So I'd like to be able to connect my off-grid Victron system to an on-grid house. Uh, so how would I go about doing that? That's the question I'm going to ask today. Uh, first and foremost, you can't do that uh, without uh, a separate grid tie inverter. But what you can do is disconnect your house from the grid and then tie in your off-grid system to your house. Sort of, you know, not too similar, uh, dissimilar from uh, hooking up a generator to your house. So how do we do that safely? Um, let's go ahead and uh, begin with looking at a diagram, uh, and then I'll go out to the system and then show you uh, what I did. Okay, so let's begin on the top left here. Um, <clears throat> we've got our utility pole here, uh, three phase, um, uh, a transformer, and then the neutral wire uh, that kind of hangs below them. And so the transformer pulls off one of the phases um, and it's a, you know, a, a center tap transformer. So the middle tap is the neutral which is then tied to ground. So that's your zero volt earth reference. Um, and then you've got line one, line two. And then those three wires come into your main um, breaker panel in your house. Uh, in this case, it's a 200 amp main breaker. Your um, you know, line one, line two go off to the sides, uh, and your neutral often goes to the left and the right. And then um, at, at somewhere inside that box, these neutral uh, lines are tied to earth ground in your home, so a copper rod driven into the ground. All right, and then um, you know if we look at it, for example, at a 1450 outlet that I have installed to charge my car, um, you would pull line one, line two from the left and the right. Neutral would be tied to your neutral bus, and then earth ground is tied to uh, the earth ground um, junction. And so, <clears throat> in this case, you know this circle right here is in indicative of the node or the point which um, the, the, the single point in which neutral is tied to earth ground in your home and that's important you can only have one point so you don't get ground loops and etc all right then if we move to the right um, we can look at my off-grid pv charging uh, car charging system so we've got solar panels coming in at 250 volts, max power point tracker, uh, DC to DC converter that steps it down to 24 volts to charge the battery. And then the battery is in parallel with the um, two Victron units that I have that are set up for split phase. Um, so you've got 24 volts coming in and then 240 volt AC going out, split phase. Um, and inside one of these inverters, you can set up in the software so that one of the inverters ties the neutral coming out to earth ground. And so I have a separate grounding rod for the off-grid system. It's actually very close to the, to the home's uh, grounding rod, I assume. I don't actually know where this is. Um, but at this point, then, you are tying neutral to ground. And in addition, you're tying the chassis of the inverters to ground the negative of the battery to ground and the chassis of the MPPT to ground. And so this circle represents the single point at which this energy source has neutral tied to ground. So in an emergency, if I wanted to connect my off-grid system to my home system, how would I go about doing that? All right, the first thing you need to do is disconnect the utility line uh, from uh, from the house, okay, and the reason for that is there's there's no way to to make sure that the phase, meaning you know the 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 sinusoidal waves coming out from the utility pole are in phase with the sinusoidal waves coming out of this, um, and and if you were to simply uh, you know make a, a a plug and then plug this into the wall here. Uh, this would probably blow up. So that's a bad thing. So you need to disconnect this. Okay, so now the home is isolated from 
the utility pole. Um, and if you were to connect um, these wires and a ground uh, to um, this receptacle, sorry, I did not include the ground, to this receptacle, then in theory, the power coming out of your split phase unit could simply go into the uh, one of the circuit breakers into the house and then simply power the rest of the circuit breakers. Okay, so then the question becomes, well, how would that work? Um, is it safe? So as it's drawn, it's not safe because you would have two different points where you are actually tying neutral to ground. Um, but what you can do is either in the software uh, on the Victron units, tell it never to... Um, uh, connect neutral to ground, okay, and you would you would know because when you turn the units on, you don't hear that click. Um, there's a click when you turn on, and that's that relay that's tying neutral to ground. You can also check it with an ohm meter to make sure that neutral is not tied to ground. And then the other way is you simply unscrew four bolts um, from your main uh, inverter uh, and flip a dip switch, and I'll show you that dip switch. And that dip switch says, regardless of whatever the software is telling the Victron, I am never going to actually tie neutral to ground. So if you do that, then you are no longer are tying neutral to ground in your off-grid system. You plug in your, your line one, neutral, line two, and ground into the receptacle, and then you're powering your home off of your uh, off-grid system. And then the ground, the the ground that's coming in is tied to the neutral um, at the, the inside your main circuit breaker just like it normally would be. Okay so here's the off-grid system um, currently powering the house um, and let's go ahead and walk through what's going on. So at my 240 volt output receptacle I bought a dryer cord so that's a 14, excuse me, an, an oven cord. That's a 1450 cord. And that's going into a Victron auto transformer. And I, you don't need this, but I happen to have it. And what the Victron auto transformer does is help balance the loads between both inverters. So if you're running a, a ton of load on one side or L1 um, and none on the other, this will. Um, the neutral will carry current and uh, balance the loads between both inverters so one of them is not um, you know being overdriven essentially and so it's fairly simple you've got lines coming in here um, and then your lines coming out and so this you can this output you can think of uh, as simply the output from the off-grid system and then that is going into a gigantic RV 1450 uh, splitter cable. And so the reason I did this is that the car charger can be plugged into one side. Since I'm using my receptacle on the off-grid system, I can no longer plug in the 240 volts. Okay, so I the input's coming in here, and that you can think of as an output. So the car is charging from there. And then the rest of the available electricity is going into the 1450 that I have installed at the house. All right. And so that 1450 goes into the main panel. All right. And you can see that the panel is indeed off. Okay. And the house is currently running off of an off-grid solar system. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the two Victron units. Uh, the master's front cover is currently off. The system is actually on, so it's not recommended to do this, but I don't want to disconnect the power at this point. All right, so if we zoom in down here, you can see that there is a little dip switch called S1 and S2. And S1 is currently in the up position. S2 is never used, according to the manual. So when S1 is in the up position, it tells the inverter, regardless of uh, whatever your software is telling the inverter to do, 
I'm never going to connect neutral to ground. Okay. So when I turn these on and turn these off, there is no relay clicking, all right? And neutral is no longer tied to ground. It's simply tied inside uh, the, the main panel on the home, all right? So that solves one of the grounding problems. And then <clears throat> if we go over to the PV combiner box, you can see there's circuit breakers here. And then I've got one MPP coming, coming out here another MPPT PPT coming out here, or that's the PV going to the MPPT, excuse me, and then a green ground wire. And so this green ground wire is the actual, um, is connected to earth ground, okay, as well as this copper wire and whatnot. And so <clears throat> those all connect down here. So this is sort of the main disconnect area for the, the wheeled off-grid system. Um, and that is simply disconnected. So now my batteries and everything over here that would be connected to ground, this grounding rod's ground, is now connected via the um, ground plug on this outlet over here. And then that goes through and then inside the auto transformer. The auto transformer also does not connect neutral to ground and then goes in through here and then ultimately to the point at which um, ground is tied to neutral in the box. And so there's only one connection to earth ground, um, and then the system is running efficiently. And you know, the way that you, know, you can make sure that neutral is tying to ground is the car charger does not work if neutral is not tied to ground. And of course you should check it with an ohm meter. Okay.